name is Leah Hill. And I'm James Cuellar. And we are here with the Oklahoma Weather Lab, bringing you your weekly climate podcast. And this is starting on Friday, November 30th, 2018. Yes. Last day of November. Yes, and we have some awesome things to bring uh, the end of the month for you guys. Uh, we are going to be seeing those below average temperatures um, coming into the United States. We do have our final update on the uh 2018 hurricane season in both the Pacific and the Atlantic. Which officially ends today. Yes. The hurricane season does. And we do have an update in California. All right, so we're just going to jump right ahead. Yes. So a couple weeks ago, we made a video on the relationship between temperatures and its effect on the thickness of the atmosphere. So we explained that cold air, when it comes, it actually shrinks the thickness of the atmosphere and compresses it. And because of that, we get some colder temperatures. So. We just wanted to show you that. So we're sitting under a trough, so essentially the atmosphere is being compressed. Mm -hmm. And because of it, for the six to 10 day time frame, we are seeing below average temperatures everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> it's nuts. This is a very, this is a long wave trough that's basically encompassing the entire United States. Mm -hmm. And because of it, we're just going to be blasted with some cooler temperatures yes. for the next week. And then precip wise, not all that much going on down towards the south we're seeing a lot of rain a lot of rain especially is possible in the california area which yes. you're going to be talking more about later and then up towards the northern plains and in montana they are going to be seeing some below average precipitation for this time frame but yes. 8 to 14 temps well we're gonna have extreme. yeah definitely a different story pretty much we're going to be seeing uh, average temperatures across the majority of the, of the united states over the next couple of weeks um, we do are we are seeing this above average temperatures across the southwest, the west coast, and the northwest, with below average temperatures primarily along the east coast. Um, and moving on to our precipitation outlook, it's more the same from the six to ten day outlook. We do have those uh, above average precipitation chances uh, along the west coast and along the southern states. So, pretty much, pretty much in terms of precipitation, we're going to be seeing the same story over the next couple of weeks. And there is some interesting relationship that we are seeing here with these precipitation outlooks. Yes, so we're in what's called a weak El Nino pattern, and El Nino is basically, it's the atmosphere and the ocean oscillation. So yes. the atmosphere and the ocean are working together, and that like the changes come from mainly sea surface temperatures mm -hmm. along the equator in the Pacific. So because of that, we're entering this weak El Nino pattern. Cooler and wetter conditions are expected along the southern states, and then warmer and drier conditions are in the north. But I just thought this was cool because it fits with the temperatures and the precipitations that we're seeing both in the 6 to 10 day temperature or er, precip outlook and the 8 to 14 day temperature and precip outlook. So I yes. just wanted to show you guys that. But California, yes, a lot going on there. Well, in the south, it actually is pretty quiet and we don't have very much any drought and pretty much anywhere. Although in across the west, you do have a persistent uh, moderate drought across the majority of the area. However, that we are going to be seeing some significant drought relief, but this could be uh, pretty big in California in terms of mudslides. We have all that, all that vegetation that was burned off from these very, very large um, wildfires in California, and now there's no vegetation to hold onto that soil, so now it's going to rain, and it only, it'll only take maybe one to two, even two to three inches in elevated uh, areas, and you will see mudslides, uh, especially in very mountainous terrains in the state of California with these with these heavier rains moving in over the next couple of weeks. Well, how about the uh, the end of hurricane season? It's ending on today. It's ending on today. 30th. So it's been a really active season. Um, the last couple weeks of it haven't been so active, but here's a look at the Atlantic hurricane season. And as you can see, we had two major hurricanes. That was Florence and Michael. They were both category four. We had quite a bit of named storms. We didn't go through the entire list of named storms, but it was still pretty significant. The Pacific hurricane season, a little bit busier. There were 24 named storms all together, but a majority of those named storms were hurricanes, and a majority of those hurricanes were major hurricanes. Yes. So, very, very busy Pacific hurricane season overall. But once again, this podcast has been brought to you by the Oklahoma Weather Lab, and we're partners of the Southern Climate Impacts Planning Program. So be sure to watch our podcast. We post those on Fridays. And be sure to uh, follow us on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube. Follow the Oklahoma Weather Lab, and make sure you guys have a fantastic weekend. Yes.